Hey guys, today is July 7th and we're about eight days away from the CrossFit Games. So today what I want to do is I want to take you through a typical day of the food that I prepare for Tommy Hackenbrook as he's training for the 2010 CrossFit Games. So it's going to be fun because I'm going to get to show you the exact meals and I'll kind of tell you some of the things I change up for him based on his training and based on his goals. Um, but right now it's a little before 9 a.m. And I just finished cooking him some oatmeal pancakes, blueberry walnut. Um, you've seen the recipe before on my blog. But uh, the only thing I changed with his is I added an extra egg for protein and fat. And I added a scoop of mila, um, which is uh, basically a seed, very, very good omega-3. Um, so there's about three extra grams of omega-3s in there. So a little bit higher fat than the, the typical recipe. So... Um, I just finished. We're going to head up to the gym. He's going to eat this about 9 o'clock. He taught some classes this morning, so uh, he was probably up uh, pretty early, maybe 5 o'clock, had a light breakfast, um, and now he'll be ready for his first kind of you know real meal of the day. Um, and then we'll take you through th the entire day, show you all of his meals, um, and, and um, talk about his training and what he's doing to prepare over the next week. All right, guys, so we're back here. We just got to U CrossFit. I'm here with Tommy Hackenbrook. And uh, he's just about to eat his oatmeal pancakes, blueberry walnut. And it's about 9 a.m. And so, Tommy, tell us kind of what, uh, what your days look like so far. Uh, today, just got up pretty early, about 7. Had uh, just a couple eggs. I was in a rush. So two fried eggs and then came in, taught a class. Got, uh, got work from now until about 12.30 and then another class. And then going to work out at 2. And then I'll be back here doing classes until about 8 p.m. Great. So, so today, so this is like technically Tommy's second meal. He had a real light breakfast um, a little before 7, so two hours later he's going to have his first you know, real solid meal of the day. Again, I, we told you it's the oatmeal pancakes. They added a scoop of Mila, um, and that's going to add uh, three grams of omega-3. So we'll be back with Tommy probably about noon. We'll bring the second meal of the day, or actually third meal of the day, I guess it would be. And then he says two, his workout's 2 o'clock. Tell us kind of about your training for the next next week. We're, we're eight days away from the games, so what are things going to look like for the next week? I'm um, training hard day today, and then um, hard days on Friday, Saturday, and Monday. Uh, the other days will be like two workouts a day, but just recovery type stuff. So, you know, easy, you know, hour swim, something like that. So, you know, the days I do my really hard workouts, um, try and eat about two hours before, which will be like right during class today. So that's why, you know, it's nice to have the food pre-made. So I can just grab something while I'm coaching, then go do the workout, and then post-workout is probably the most important meal, so I can you know recover as quickly as possible. And, uh, you know, the nutrition's been helping a lot as far as uh, when I do my hard workouts. Usually, I feel great like about four to six hours after. I feel like I could go again. Uh, so I know you know in, in this type of format, I'm not I'm not going to do that. I'm, I'm getting full recovery. But when it comes time at the at the CrossFit Games, it'll be nice to know that. I can do a really rigorous workout, get some, you know, get some more feel in my body, and just be ready to go a couple hours later and feel fresh. Perfect. And and one of the biggest things is, you know, you, you hear about it all the time, but you know, macronutrient ratios and weighing and measuring. And the biggest thing that, like, I think Tommy's really focused on is just fat. Fat is always the biggest variable when it comes to athletes. Um, and so, you know, Tommy's bringing in a huge amount of fat. As you can see, he's absolutely shredded. His body fat is low. Uh, so, you know, that's not affecting his body fat, but um, Tommy, how many, how many grams of fat are you still bringing in per meal? Are you still like in the 40 range? Yeah, per or? meal, probably, yeah, anywhere from probably 30 to 50. Um, and then most of my snacks throughout the day, if I'm, if I'm just feeling like I need a little extra, it's just fat, um, you know, just some nuts or, or some coconut oil, something like that. So probably, you know, when I'm training hard just to maintain weight, I'm, I'm roughly like four to 5,000 calories a day, probably you know, two plus, 2,000 plus calories from fat. Great. So fat doesn't make you fat, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> that, but, probably, that probably sound, <laughs> that sounds bad, but it's, uh, it's, it's what works. Yeah, no, absolutely. And, and we'll show you, his post-workout meal will probably have at least 50 grams of fat in it today. Um, we'll show you that here in a couple hours. But So here, here we are, 9, 9 a.m., meal two. Uh, we'll take you through the day, and uh, I think you'll enjoy getting to see what Tommy's doing here for the next week. So here we are just arriving at Ute CrossFit. Terry and I prepared some meals for Tommy. 
Tom and uh, guys. So it's about 12 o'clock, and uh, Tommy's ready for his third meal of the day. We got a cooler here with uh, tuna cup is going to be the next meal, and then um, we've got um, a couple extra tuna cups for tomorrow, and then we did a um, ground beef, grass-fed beef, and a steamed veggie meal. That'll actually be his dinner. Um, but uh, workout at 2 o'clock, post-workout um, meal will be about 3 or 3.30. And that'll be a, more of a protein type drink that we mix. So come on in. Uh, we're going to talk to Tommy and get his third meal going right now. All right, let's check it out. All right, guys, we're back at U CrossFit here with Tommy. It is a little bit after 12, and we are ready for meal three. So uh, right now we're about to do a tuna cup, and we got a cooler pack for him for some meals throughout the rest of the day and tomorrow. I'll kind of take you through that. Um, we have uh, three of these um, uh, grass-fed beef with steamed vegetables. So this will be his meal, let's see, be three, four, probably meal five. This will be tonight. Um, after his post-workout meal, this will follow. Uh, so there's three of those for today and tomorrow. And then, uh, this smells good, fresh, right? This is still hot right out of the oven. <laughs> um, then, um, what we have, this is going to be the meal right now. This is a tuna cup, and this is a double. So, um, as you can see, there's sliced um, raw almonds and avocados. Uh, but in here we have tuna, mixed uh, nuts and seeds, all of them are raw. We have blueberries, pear, apple, and then um, avocado on top. And we'll douse this kind of an olive oil um, to add some extra fat and to give it a little bit of um, moisture. And then um, the last thing we have here for snacks is uh, this recipe I just created. These are paleo muffins. So they're like little muffins or protein bars, homemade, um, and they have uh, no flour in them, no added sugar. So these would be a great snack. This would be something that Tommy can have tonight when he's teaching classes um, and needs a little bit of fuel. So um, that's what's in the cooler, and we'll come back for the post-workout snack. Um, but Tommy has just been doing some work here, and then you got class coming in. Yeah, I got a class right now, and then uh, then I train, then I'm back here to do another class. Go to the airport, pick up the wife, just okay. go out of town for a week, and then back a couple more classes. Okay. Probably get done about 9.30 at night, so okay. it's good to have the snacks. But uh, yeah, it's nice that Terry do this for me. Usually I got to do it on my own. It's just like four tuna cups. <laughs> all I eat. Perfect. I don't have the snacks I need, so this will be great. So he'll be, he'll be set all day. This will, this will take him through the rest of the day um, and uh, for tomorrow as well. So he'll be set. So we'll check in. Uh, the workout is going to be next, and then uh, we'll show you the post-workout drink after that. All right. It is time for meal number three, and I am just putting together Tommy's post-workout drink, and uh, it's going to be a protein-based drink. Um, there's been a lot of stuff coming out in the media recently about toxins and protein, arsenic and, and mercury and different things. So um, I have a new protein powder that I just found that I'm carrying um, that is chemical free, no added sweeteners, no added sugar. It's a great product. Feel free to contact me. I'll tell you more about it. Um, but we're going to have 40 grams of uh, chocolate protein powder, whey, and then um, we're going to have three sources of fat. I'm going to have coconut milk, um, natural peanut butter, and some mila in there and so the mila is going to be uh, three grams of omega-3 the coconut milk we're going to get um, 30 grams of um, fat from that and then the peanut butter we're going to get about 20 grams of fat so we're looking at 40 grams of protein uh, 50 grams of fat and then we're going to get um, about 40 grams of carbs we're going to do a banana and a half um, in there to get the carbs and then um, we haven't talked a ton about supplements today, but one supplement that uh, I really, really like and that I've been using with endurance athletes is DMG. So uh, with the drink, Tommy's going to have about 750 milligrams of DMG. So that's what's going into it. We'll get it thrown together and show you here in a minute. 